Hi, welcome to Elon Musk said something important. Be less wrong over time. So a few months ago, I made a couple of videos about Elon Musk and thinking from first principles. He described his problem solving approach as a physics way of thinking. But he also said something else that I think deserves better attention. So he suggested doing the following. Always taking the position that you are some degree wrong and your goal is to be less wrong over time. You can find a link to where he says that above and in the description below. Okay, so why is this important? It's important because it sums up very succinctly how science progresses. So, in science, we observe some natural phenomenon. Then, we make a hypothesis to explain that phenomenon. Then, we do an experiment to test that hypothesis. Now, the hypothesis might pass or fail that experimental test. If it fails, we have to form a new hypothesis. And then, with that new hypothesis, we do an experimental test. Now, if the hypothesis passes the experimental test, then we design a new experiment and we do a new experiment to test the hypothesis. So science progresses through this continuing process of forming new hypotheses and designing new experiments. Additionally, when we form a new hypothesis, that new hypothesis should pass all of the previous experimental tests. And this means that the new hypothesis should be at least as good as the old hypothesis. Additionally, over time, measurements should get more precise and should test hypotheses under broader conditions. So the more precise your experiments, the more closely your hypothesis has to resemble reality in order to pass the experimental tests. And the better your hypothesis resembles reality, the better experiments you'll need to try to disprove it. So science basically works in this vicious cycle where better hypotheses lead to better experimental tests and better experimental tests lead to better hypotheses. So science doesn't try to give absolute unchanging facts. Instead, it produces hypotheses that explain more phenomena, explain phenomena over larger sets of conditions, and correctly predict experimental results more precisely over time. Or another way of putting this is that the goal of science is to be less wrong over time. Okay, so in physics we have something called spherical cow models. These are models we have of some natural phenomenon which we know don't actually describe nature very well. But these models can be an important stepping stone for figuring out a more accurate description of nature. So let's say there's some natural phenomenon that we want to understand we can make a rudimentary model of that phenomenon, here represented by a spherical cow. That rudimentary model can lead to a better model, which in turn can lead to a really good, but nonetheless still imperfect model. And then the process continues where we try to make each model less imperfect than the one before it. Okay. So if you'd like more information on this topic, there are a few videos on this channel that you might want to check out. So one of those videos is called Science as a Series of Increasingly Accurate Approximations. 
Next we have the video Spherical Cows and also a video called Why Measurement Uncertainties Are Important. And finally, if you'd like to see a real example from particle physics of measurements improving over time, you can check out the video How the Measured Lifetime of the Tau Lepton Changed Over 30 Years. Okay, so now to very briefly summarize, the goal of science is to be less wrong over time.